Hey, so in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a Transgate style effect using Animator, which is uh, one of the components built into Fuser. Animator is a, a kind of an analog style sequencer, and uh, it uh, it works in a couple different ways, or you can use it in a couple different ways. It can output uh, pitch values, so kind of driving your synth like uh, like an arpeggiator almost, or you can have it output uh, mod source values, so um, basically values between 1 and 100% here that you can use to control various different elements of uh, or various different parameters on a synth patch. So uh, I've created a relatively simple pad here. Um, so two oscillators are going. I've got eight voices, three unison voices. Um, the first oscillator is dropped down an octave. The second oscillator is tuned up seven semitones with a fair amount of FM going on it coming from oscillator three. Uh, oscillator 3 is also sending uh, an FM output to filter 1, which is uh, set up as a low-pass filter with a fair amount of resonance. So, let's just hear that in action here. So a nice uh, melancholy kind of uh, pad sound there. Um, but what I'm going to show you is how to create a little bit more kind of um, uh, a little bit more of a kind of a, an animated uh, feel to it, some some rhythm and uh, a nice kind of trance gate style output. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select. I've already I've got a pattern in um, uh, Animator Engine 3 here, which I'll just get rid of so I can let you see it from scratch. I'm going to select Step Sequencer 3's output, and I'm going to apply it to the level output of the amp section. Um, and you're not going to hear much right away. We we do hear a little bit, and I'll tell you why in a sec. Um, but uh, so yeah, Step Sequencer 3 here is sending an output to um, Cypher's level output which right now uh, is all muted, or is all dropped down to zero. As I bring these up, you start hearing the, the gate effect come in. So pretty cool little uh, little effect there. Now the reason why when it drops down to zero here, we're still hearing the synth is because the amp section is actually uh, getting driven um, on the way in. Now what I mean by that is that there's on the way into the amp section of the synth, there's actually uh, a, a kind of a built-in distortable input, which is the amp's input um, marked here as amp. And so instead of having the gate affect the level output. I'm going to have it affect the amp's input because even when uh, the level is muted, there's still some some kind of line level uh, input that gets passed to uh, to the synth out because the amp st stage is being driven. So we can hear now it's a much cleaner um, kind of 100% muted uh, effect there. Um, I'm also going to bring my little spatial effects over here, uh, the delay and the room reverb into the mix. So that's pretty cool. It, uh, it definitely adds a lot to that uh, pad. It takes it from being kind of droney into a section where it's almost like a lead line. It's got that kind of euphoric breakdown kind of feel. Um, but what I want to do here is I actually want to show you um, a, a more complex uh, step sequence that I've made. So I'm going to switch uh, this over to step sequence 2 and then I'm going to go back to animator and we'll go back to step sequencer 2 here and look at the mod values. Um, now this is a, a much higher resolution of sequencer. What I mean by that is that instead of it being um, basically 16th notes that I can control here. Um, these are 30 second notes and so this is still only one bar but you can you can do kind of uh, a lot more intricate uh, programming here. So you'll be able to hear the difference right away. So by increasing the step duration and the number of steps 
you can actually get uh, a much finer control over what you're trying to affect. Uh, another cool thing that I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to have Step Sequencer 2 uh, go into Transmod Slot 7 here. And at this point, it's uh, going to affect the FM amount going into the filter along with the pitch of Oscillator 3. So you're going to hear a, a very different kind of effect here. So that's a, that's a pretty cool uh, thing going on there. Um, and uh, the reason why it's it's creating those kind of like varied um, vocally effects is because I'm controlling the amount, both the amount and the pitch of the FM going to the filter. And because the resonance is so high, it's it's fairly pronounced. But uh, that's that's happening on these kind of non-absolute value notes. So as opposed to it being 100% on or 100% off, there's these um, kind of extra little 30 second notes in here, which have um, kind of uh, a different uh, different pitch than kind of full on or full off or a different value than full on or full off which is being sent to those uh, things which I am modulating from transmod slot 7 so the filter FM amount and the pitch and obviously we can do very different things with this so I'll switch this just as an example I'll switch this over to Step sequencer three here, and I'm just gonna change the pattern completely to something fairly bizarro. So that's a, a cool way to uh, basically create a, a transcate style effect using uh, Animator. Thanks for checking this out, and uh, definitely check out more of the, the Synth Squad quick tips and pro tips that I've got uh, on my channel here, and feel free to subscribe if you dig them, and uh, happy music making.